just thinking about what is going to happen there gives me shivers. It's like it is. It's unbelievable, and it's it's going to be groundbreaking in my opinion. Like that, just to be able to to be with that energy and those people. I'm very very fortunate that I get to do work for my community on behalf of all the Bullfrog customers to to work with these communities that want to build renewable energy projects and, and um, create inspiring examples for other people. When Melina first uh, and David first asked, uh, talked, started talking about you know doing a, a project and the fact that uh, we may be able to get uh, a grant you know, and I said, yeah, let's go for it. It's really hard to prove to others that, that you're really serious about change. Being here in the northern part of Alberta where we're completely surrounded by oil and gas, um, logging, fracking, tar sands, um, for me as a young person from this community seeing the changes in the landscape, landscape because of these types of resource extraction projects happening around us, um, I became quite concerned that this isn't the type of future that I'd want to see um, for my children. And so this project came about out of that um, realization that we need to act now. We wanted to, to, to make something that would uh, be emblematic and that would stand out and uh, literally greet people as they drove through the community. Well, once we got the um, go-ahead from the community meeting that people wanted to see solar, we started fundraising and writing proposals and Bullfrog Power was the first to um, you know, say yes to our idea that gave us really the seed money to start going out and approaching other foundations. So we took 80 solar panels and we decided to put them in a very central place in the community and connect it to a, I guess, a symbolic place as well in that it's, it's the health center. A 20.8 kilowatt project in in, in a community such as this is a big impact. I think people are just really excited and it's been, I'm really happy to see um, even the, young, the youth that helped us put up the project, how proud they are. You can see a twinkle in their eye. You can see the smile in their faces at the end of the day. This is so unique. I've never had the opportunity to connect so closely with the community that we've worked with. It is so emotional just to see you know, at least three, maybe four generations of this community come out to celebrate the solar project. I can see all those little kids that put their hands in the cement. Thank, thank you, son, for all the energies. Thank, thank you, son, for all the energies. Feeling a certain, literal, a literal connection to it, but I can see them definitely being inspired to, to think beyond the uh, oil that uh, pollutes their land. I feel like this solar project is actually going to benefit the community. You know, when we first broke ground, I had tears of joy, just, you know, crying by myself. And now I'm like, finally it's sinking in that it happened and I'm so happy. One of the things we have to do is uh, don't dwell on a negative, you know, and, and that's what we've been trying to do. Every dollar that, that Bullfrog was able to give to the Lubicon Lake Band solar project came from each of its customers. A little bit of it came from every one of our customers. It's pretty amazing to know that thousands of people across Canada have um, supported this project by wanting to see green energy happen. You know, I always feel that action is always better than words. And so thank you for all those people that, you know, that believe in action. Because I mean, I mean, uh, uh, as they say, you know, the, you know, the, uh, a journey of a thousand miles starts with that first step, right? So this is our first step. And thank you for those people that are helping us with our first step.